If you build it, they will come. I'm sports director Brandon Kinnard at the Community First Champion Center in Grand Chute. We've all heard that famous line about a baseball field, but it can apply to basketball, volleyball, hockey, you name it. These days in youth sports, big facilities like this mean big business. <laughs> it seems something is always happening at the Community First Champion Center. We have something going on here pretty much every single day. Uh, I think last year, 359 days out of the year, uh, the only days we get off, uh, you know, would be your prime holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas Day, Easter. General Manager Adam Lagaki says it's one of the premier youth sports facilities in the Midwest. This is the Mary Beth House Field House. So in this area, we have four It features three main areas, a basketball and volleyball gym, a hockey rink, and a seasonal arena that Lagaki says can do both. Where we're standing right now is pretty close to the center of a hockey rink, um, October through the end of February. So this is a, a hockey rink, um, and then we convert it to four more basketball courts. We can also fit five more volleyball courts in here, and that really allows us to maximize the amount of teams we can have in here during their prime seasons to you know get the largest tournaments. Week in and week out, the region's top athletes and their families flock to the Fox Valley. <laughs> The Fox Cities Convention and Visitors Bureau conceived the idea for this type of venue more than five years ago. We did several studies, several needs analysis, and this, this facility kind of was the result of those. Pam Seidel, the executive director of the Fox Cities Convention and Visitors Bureau, says before the Champion Center opened in 2019, 10 municipalities teamed together to fund the $30 million construction debt with a 3% room tax. That's really, you know, I, not heard of very much in in the state or actually in the country to have 10 municipalities come together and it's a really a testament to the region regionalism and the vision here of our municipalities they understand making the investment um, helps drive economic activity the result a new economic boom to the area Matt Ten Haken, the Visitors uh, Bureau's Director of Sports Marketing, that. says in 2023, the Champion Center helped create $11 million of economic activity related to sports tourism. In my 14 years, this is the best, best year we've ever had. And, and 2024 will be 2023. When families come to town that obviously they're spending a lot of time at the sporting event, they're staying in a hotel, but then when they're not, sleeping or competing, they're eating at our restaurants, shopping at our stores. We have stores at Fox River Mall calling us, uh, saying they've sold out of merchandise on specific weekends when we have a, a high uh, number of um, you know, high school age youth in the community. But why youth sports? Parents will do almost anything to let their kids participate in activities that are um, healthy and enriching to their lives. Both Ten Haken and Seidel say it's a fast growing tourism driver. There's been this shift where mom and dad used to have their softball league or their bowling league. We've now made that shift in the last generation to focusing on, on our children and their participation in sports. With no signs of slowing down. We found from a tourism standpoint specifically, they tend to be recession proof, use sports uh, you know, they may cut back on the vacation or, or, or cut back on some other things, but they're going to make sure that their child gets to participate in a tournament or a traveling team. From that, Fox Valley businesses benefit, and so too do the athletes, who now have a top-tier facility to help develop their game. Me and everybody my age will say the same thing. I wish I had a place like this that I could have played at when I was growing up. Um, so yeah, just to see, to be able to pass that along to like the next generation of kids and be a part of it, it's really rewarding. And with a unique facility like this, the demand is high. Staff here say they have to say no to reservation requests a whole lot more than they say yes. But the Champion Center is potentially looking into expansion in the future. In Grand Chute, Brandon Kinnard, NBC 26 Sports Beyond the Score.